Sagittarius. Welcome to your weekly forecast for February 11th through the 17th. I know this is the week of Valentine's Day. Everyone wants to know about love, um, but the love readings are separate and I have the link to the love readings in the description of this video. So you can watch the love video after this one if you're looking for more info on love. And I will be doing a mid-month update and focusing on Valentine's Day in a couple of days. So if you hit subscribe and notification, you'll get a notice when that video is up. This video is going to focus on all the other important parts of your life. Uh, career, finance, family, friendship, spirituality, uh, you know, psychic growth, angel messages, all of that good stuff. So join me for that. We're going to see what is happening with Sagittarius the week ahead. Here is your Monday, Tuesday, your Wednesday, Thursday, and your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then after we look at these guys here, I'm going to pull a card from a different deck for your angel message for the week or your soul homework for the week. Nine of Wands, Sagittarius. So a lot of you, this is going to apply to you guys in different ways. Some of you are very, very close, so close you can taste it, very close at accomplishing something that you've been working on for a very, very, very long time. Um, I'm hearing baby, like for some of you, this is, this is, this is your baby. Um, maybe for some of you, it's a literal baby. Maybe some of you have been very busy trying to make a baby. But I think that for a lot of you, it's been more so um, some kind of project or business or idea you've been trying to put it out there and it's like there's one more piece that just seems to be missing and you're coming into manifesting it into the beginning of the week a uh, message here with nine of wands also is that Sagittarius you're gonna be a little bit nervous there's someone or something where you're feeling intimidated either you're not trusting in yourself to make the right decision or you're feeling like somebody's about to play you or take advantage of you in some way. And Nine of Wands wants you to know it's going to be okay. Uh, not because like everything is hunky-dory and yeah, sure, you know, jump in without looking. That's not what Nine of Wands tells you. Nine of Wands wants you to know that um, you have been through enough in your life. You have been played so many times. You have been lied to. You've been taken advantage of. Uh, you've had things that maybe you, ha you consider failures or bad luck. And each one of those battles, you came out of it and you, you rebuilt. You moved on. You survived. And you learned something. Okay? Like every single one of these wands is a battle that she was able to overcome right? That she was able to survive and she was able to take that stick of experience, that knowledge. So spirit wants you to know, and that smoke is really blowing over. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's coming in my face. Um, so that's coming in as confirmation for you that you have been through enough. You have seen every trick in the book. You know what the red flags are. So as long as you're keeping your eyes open and looking for those signs and, you know, pulling on your own experience, you're going to be more than okay. Nobody's going to be able to one-up you. Nobody's going to be able to trick you. Uh, you're going to be on steady and solid ground. And you're going to be able to complete whatever it is you're completing. I feel some of you are being asked to sign a contract. Maybe this is a lease. Maybe this is... Uh, maybe some of you are having a situation at work where like somebody's trying to write you up for something. Maybe you need to talk to somebody about it and get some advice like maybe you need to pull in a lawyer or talk to a lawyer there may be something here that um you need to look out for that there's just there there's a I, I hate to use so many expressions um but like a snake in the grass there just might be something here you got to keep your eyes open for but you do have the ability to see it you do have the wisdom to see it you just have to be alert and stay on your toes and as long as you're doing that you're gonna be okay i feel for some of you you're even surprising somebody like they thought that they had you where they wanted you and they're like oh crap like they found me out like sagittarius found me out so just listen to your gut and pay attention People are always telling you who they are. People are always telling you who they are if you just be quiet and let them talk, right? So listen, keep your eyes open, keep your ears open, Sagittarius. Your Wednesday, Thursday card is the sun card. And so this is a major arcana card. Look, that smoke just blew over. It's beautiful confirmation. This is a positive shift for you. This is recognition. Like I said, some of you, maybe you might be in a situation at work or you might be having a personal situation 
where somebody is trying to blame you for something, write you up for something, or um, or, or blame you or say you did something that you didn't do. Um, and so the truth is coming out for some of you. I'm hearing vindication. Some of you are being vindicated. The truth is coming out about a matter or a situation or about a person. Some of you are like, I told you I wasn't crazy. I told you something was up, right? And so you're having that light come into it. And you're, you're having that validation or that vindication in that way. Sun also has other meanings. For some of you, this is going to be playfulness, success, recognition. It could be a promotion. It could be a new job. Um, it could also be true love. Okay? So maybe some of you are having a very special Valentine's Day. Like I said, I'm not going to focus too much on love in this particular reading. But either you are having it now or something is happening in your energy where you are calling in true love. You are calling in true love. Even if you're terribly, horribly, unhappily single on Valentine's Day... Something is shifting and something is happening midweek to where it's kind of like that fairy godmother is hearing your cries and coming in and, and beginning to help you be guided to the right people, the right places, the right ways of thinking, the right uh, things to celebrate, the right things to get into that is going to bring you the love of your life. Your Friday, Saturday and Sunday is two of cups okay so i said i wasn't gonna focus too much on relationships right but you've you've, you've got a love card here uh typically this is about healthy relationships and breaking a negative cycle now we're not gonna focus entirely on love because some of you are like i couldn't care less about love i i'm so over it and so another way that this card can apply is that you're coming into healthy relationships with others where you're not going to have toxic environments anymore. I said that there was going to be a vindication or validation for some of you with that nine of uh, wands, right? So some of you are breaking some negative cycle or negative pattern where maybe you've worked for really shady people or you've had people being dishonest with you or using you in some way or you've had friends who've been really ungrateful or they've been takers or maybe you've been an ungrateful taker in your past in times where you were hurting more or you were going through your own stuff maybe you were in a dark place and maybe you weren't nice to people for a while but you're coming into this healthy energy of that healthy give and take that balance i'm hearing improved communication so sagittarius if you've been beating yourself up because you felt like why can't people understand me or why can't i understand other people what am i not getting like why why do i have such a hard time communicating with people a lot of you are having improvements in your communication there's a healthier flow here with your communication with people being able to problem solve without arguments or without being afraid to speak up for yourself a lot of you Sagittarius, I feel like you've been in this cycle for a long time where you're like, look, I just want to be cool. I don't want to make a big deal about stuff. So like maybe people have been doing things or they, they would say things and you would let it slide and you would let it slide and you would let it slide and then you would let it slide. And the littlest thing happened, like, you know, they left the door open or they drank the last soda that was in the fridge or whatever it was and you just kind of go off like you're just you can't because you've you've let so much slide right and that person might be like man what's up with Sagittarius they're overreacting like why are they getting so mad because I left the door open or why are they getting so mad because I drank the last soda we can go to the store and get more soda like why are they acting this way and for you it's not even about that it's because you feel like this person is not thinking about you or this person's not considering you and you feel hurt. And so many other things have happened that this one little thing kind of makes you blow up or snap. And then you're like, great, everybody thinks I'm drama or everybody thinks I'm overly sensitive. You're learning to communicate in a way now where you're not pushing stuff down anymore. To where you can be like, hey, you know what? I haven't had a soda yet. You mind saving one for me? Or, hey, you know what? I'm not feeling well and it's kind of drafty. Can you make sure that you uh, shut the door next time? Like you're addressing things as they happen before they become a big deal. So you're coming into a healthier way of communicating with others. We're gonna check out what your angel messages are or what your soul homework card is for the week. I'm gonna use this gorgeous deck here. I just love this beautiful deck. Let's see what is coming up for Sagittarius friends for your soul work for the week. Let's see what is going on for Sag. 
all right loves so you have unbound releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives isn't that beautiful isn't that awesome okay we talked about breaking that negative cycle of being stuck or feeling unappreciated or feeling like people were trying to one-up you or trick you in some way and this is saying you are free you are free as a bird whatever has been kind of stalking you through your past lives or even through this life where it's just been repeating the same pattern again and again and again you are finally breaking out of it no more you are done okay so um a lot of you i feel intuitively this specifically has to do with two main areas um for some of you it's one or the other and for some of you it's both i'm hearing home life and i'm hearing finances so some of you have had family that has been absolutely terrible to you and you've been stuck and you haven't been able to get out or you've been maybe you know couch surfing or you've been living out of your car or you've been homeless or going to shelters and there was never able um a way to like feel rooted or to feel like you had a sense of home or maybe you just felt very unwelcome in wherever you're living now you're breaking out of that feeling of there's no home for me like you're breaking out of that gypsy wandering traveler um like lost out in the world and you're you're beginning to grow roots because you're realizing that it's safe for you to be who you are to do the things that you enjoy doing and that you are deserving as a creature of god uh as a child of god to have a home to have a habitat and a healthy and safe one at that um the other one is finances a lot of you are breaking past life agreements about poverty or about struggling with money okay um and guys it's not wrong to ask your angels and guides to help you with money because we live in a world where we need money okay nobody is saying that we're going to be materialistic and we're going to be obsessed with it you know or even like wanting to be rich maybe you want to be rich because you feel like well hey if i had all that money i would do good with it i would go help kids in bad situations i would help homeless people i would help sick people so yeah why shouldn't the universe help you to be rich if that's what you're going to do with it it's not a wrong thing to ask for money or ask for help with money so a lot of you are breaking some kind of stuck cycle with finances or living environment or for some of you both cuz if you think about it those two things can go definitely hand in hand uh you are unstuck my dears and i am excited for you i am very excited for you be sure to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos cuz that will bring in more information for you specifically in your life um like depending on where your planets fall where your where your planetary makeup is and then also if you need a private reading i've got private readings starting at as low as $5 and up it's very easy to schedule now if you click on the calendly link in the description it will take you to the online calendar the different reading options you can schedule right then and there super easy super fast um and also my dears uh the love readings like i said you can click on and watch the love readings and subscribe and you'll get a notice when the next ones are up in a couple of days thank you so much for subscribing commenting sharing liking i love you so much thank you for being here and thank you for letting me be part of your journey take care sagittarius